Dear students, hope you are all well. So today we will begin with a chapter in EVS Part 1. The name of the chapter is Our Home and Environment. Students, we see different types of houses made up of different materials and different shapes in our surroundings, right? Even houses in cities differ from houses in the rural areas. That means you see in the cities we see different houses and in the villages we see different houses. In cities we see houses in multi-story buildings due to large number of populations whereas we do not find such multi-story buildings in villages. We do not find buildings in the villages but in the cities we find buildings. Let's move forward. Now why houses are built or I can say why we need houses. So houses are built because it gives us shelter. It is a place to rest right after the whole day's work. The, we work right. So it gives us protection also from the sun wind, cold and rains and even also from the wild animals. We feel safe from antisocial elements when we are in the house. Let's move forward. Now, people who are homeless means they are without home. Now, why people become homeless? Let's see that. Okay. As we all know, water, food, clothing and shelter are our basic needs of every human being. However, these needs are not fulfilled in the case of each and every person. That means everyone does not get such needs. Why? Because of that, many people seek Shelters, that means they are homeless. Now, people who lack shelter, they try to seek shelter. That means they try to get shelter where? In which places? We will see that. They try to seek shelter at roadside, on footpath, under the bridges, in the tumbled buildings, in railway station or bus station and even on open grounds. Many people are even forced to be homeless because there are many reasons behind that. Reasons like you can see in the slide lack of affordable houses. They cannot afford a house. Insufficient or low income that means they do not, they do not have enough money to buy a house. Then Poverty, they are very poor. Then the next is unemployment. They do not have a job where they can buy a house. Then due to natural disasters, because of floods, earthquakes, right? Then and sometimes it might be physical and mental disorders also. A part of a society being homeless is a social problem. That means a part of a society being homeless, it is a social problem. And that is why the government implements various schemes. So the government has provided schemes. What schemes? To provide homes to the homeless. That means in some cities, in some cities, Night shelters are made available. That means in some places there are night shelters available for the people. That means at least in the night they can rest. Okay. So night shelters are made available to the homeless. Where homeless people can take shelter at least in the night. Okay. Let's move forward. Then PMA. Why? That is Pradhan Mantri Avyas Yojana. Now in one such scheme, this is one such scheme by the government. Now what this scheme is to provide home 
especially for the people whose income is insufficient that means people who do not have money to buy a house or their income is low as you can see it is written housing for all which shows that the scheme is for the people whose income is low or insufficient that means people who do not have enough money to buy a house thus this is the that scheme which is provided by the government let's move forward now students many time people use the word home and house right home and house people use this word interchangeably assuming that they mean the same thing right we say home and house means the same thing but they are not same when you point out to a building and say it is your house right you say it is your house you mean physical building whereas when you say it's your home you mean it is the place where you and your family live okay so children always remember that though there are so many different types of houses right we see different types of houses in our surroundings or when we travel we see different types of houses but then to everyone is attached to their own house everyone is attached to their own house it is not only the walls and doors and windows and the roof that make up a house that means it's not only the walls doors and windows and the roof which make up a house it is the people who live in that house and their love and affection for one another okay that turns a house into a home so there is always difference between house and a home okay let's move forward then the next is growth in population and increase in requirement of houses now due to increase in population of the world the increase in the requirement of the houses also is increasing right the requirement of houses now to build a large number of houses you require natural resources right in great quantities now natural resources are used in great quantities to obtain the required natural resources now there are many methods which are adopted however these methods cause harm to the environment these different methods which the people are using it causes harm to the environment and it also leads to air pollution soil pollution and noise pollution now some of the methods you can see in your slide which are adopted to obtain the required natural resources are what do people do to build houses you need natural resources so what all things the people are doing to use the natural resources digging up hill for coring extracting sand from seashore now all these things are required for building houses so these all things people are doing that is digging up hills for coring then extracting sand from seashore and river beds then extracting stone and earth from the ground drying out excessive amounts of ground water that means they're drying up different water bodies or felling of trees they're cutting trees why they're cutting trees to build up houses to clear the land or it might be of filling up ponds lakes streams rivers creeks and low lying areas to reclaim land so all these water bodies different water bodies that are lakes streams rivers they are drying up that to build houses so these are the methods which cause harm to the environment we are doing that we are only harming our environment by doing all these things let's move forward next is increasing requirement of houses and its effects on nature now because of growing urbanization land which was previously used for agriculture 
and similar other purpose is now being used to construct road and to raise residential colonies that means the land before which was used for agriculture now that land is being used to construct houses because there the population is increasing and there is no land there is no place to build houses so people are using the agricultural land now this leads to shortage of agricultural land now if you will use the agricultural land it will lead to shortage of agricultural land right now to fulfill these shortage forage land is being cleared so they are clearing out forage to build houses for the place of agriculture and for the large number of trees are cut down and due to it forests are reduced now can you see much forest no you can't see number of forest are reduced not only this children to prepare construction materials now to construct a house you need different materials right like bricks bricks are made from soil cement from limestone glass from sand large quantity of energy is also utilized now from where does this energy come this energy is produced using natural fuels the fuels which we get from nature like coal natural gas or mineral oil now the excessive use of fuels for producing construction material may lead to air pollution if you use lots of fuels what it will lead to air pollution now children it takes lakhs of years for this source energy in nature it takes lots of time for this sources you to get back right and that is why it has become necessary for us to use alternate source of energy now these sources are becoming less so we are using another alternate source of energy now what are those alternate sources of energy alternate sources of energy are like solar energy and wind energy and wind energy now why is it necessary to use this type of energy because such type of energy resources are available in plenty now the natural resources which we are using is getting over so we have to use these alternate sources of energy like the solar energy and the wind energy okay and they do not cause pollution and that is why they are known as non exhaustible sources of energy they do not get over so they are called as non exhaustible sources of energy biogas made from cow dung is another example of non exhaustible source of energy let's move forward now like human beings like us other living things they also need shelter and some other living things they also build shelters as you know for example birds they build shelter right using various materials to to make a shelter you need different materials okay which are available in the environment and they sh and their shelters are eco friendly and temporary the bird shelter is eco friendly and temporary right they are they make nest only during the monsoons they are so their shelters are temporary as compared to that of human beings and that is why it has become necessary that we should all try to make a house eco friendly now eco friendly house means which do not harm the environment okay which do not harm the environment now there are some features look at in the slide there are some features about eco friendly houses they are there is minimum use of natural resources means you you use in natural resources but in a limited okay for building eco friendly houses because because eco friendly houses they are made by using non exhaustible energy resources just now as i told you non exhaustible energy resources like biogas wind energy and solar 
energy now in such house that is an eco friendly house there is arrangement for use of recycled water and there is also provision of recycling garbage means in this kind of houses you can recycle your garbage not only in this in buildings also so eco friendly houses use of artificial materials and artificial colors are avoided okay artificial materials all different artificial materials and artificial colors are avoided in eco friendly houses okay there is provision of natural light and ventilation in the house so that we can avoid use of electricity so in the eco friendly house there is use of natural light and ventilation so that you can save electricity so there is another type of house that is we'll see in the next slide that is called as underwater shelters now underwater shelters means shelters which are built under the water they are known as underwater shelters children nowadays water tourism has become an important occupation and as a part of it in some places in some places there are water shelter for tourists that means under water there are shelters now from this shelter as you can see in the picture we get a direct view of the sea bed and an amazing marine life you get to see the fishes around in this type of shelter why because it is under water generally such types of shelters are seen in the coastal regions of europe and north america so in you will get to see these types of shelters in these two places that is in europe and north america let's move forward now students let's know something interesting about a mumbai okay children originally the city of mumbai was made of seven islands okay as you can see in the first picture okay there are different different islands the proportion of water bodies between them were filled with stones and earth to create land due to the increase in population of mumbai and as you can see in the second picture was done filling of water bodies the 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 space is getting more right that is filling of water bodies to create land is called as reclamation reclamation means to create land now before there were islands so they are creating land why because the population was increasing so reclamation means to create land by filling the water bodies now that you can see in the second picture you can see in the first picture there is group of islands in the second picture you can see land is getting more why the population is increasing now this is this reclaimed land is in low lying areas so it gets flooded it's low lying area so it automatically gets flooded because all the water is getting collected over there now when there is heavy rainfall you have heard during the rainy season that it is flooded in this place it's flooded in that place right just because these reclaimed land they are in low lying areas where the water is automatically going over them some examples are bandra reclamation kolaba reclamation are some examples of reclaimed land in mumbai now these reclaimed land they are used for residential colonies why for people to stay over there okay roads and industries means residential colonies in industries roads were developed in these reclaimed land okay let's move forward then the next is what we have learned today we observe a variety in the types of house construction in regions of different climates in different climates we get to see different types of houses houses are built to suit the climate of that region so a particular house is built to that to suit the climate of that region different materials all obtained from nature are used to build houses different materials are built right 
are used from the natural resources. We should be judicious in using energy. Then the next is, it is necessary to increase the use of non-exhaustible sources of energy. Why? Because you can use it every time. So you should mostly use non-exhaustible sources of energy. Then the next is, it is necessary to build eco-friendly houses. And the last one is, we must take care that the environment is not harm. We should not harm our environment. Let's move forward. Then the next is your homework. The first question is clean water, shelter and education are a dash. Next is around us we see many people who dash. And the last is why does man need shelter? That's all for now. The chapter ends over here. We will learn the next chapter in the next video. Thank you for listening children. Goodbye. Take care.